Hi guys, I'm Marcel back with The Pulse. Now, you may have heard there's been some news about the FDA and a form of NMN and that the FDA had determined they were not allowing NMN to be sold as a supplement anymore. But there seems to be some confusion about the topic, and I'll explain here. And we're not quite clear if they mean beta NMN, which is a form of in MIB 626, which is a pharmaceutical which has been submitted for approval from Metro International uh, Biotech. Now, you may know that MIB 626 is David Sinclair's backed version of NMN. There is a form of beta NMN that is similar to MIB 626. And in the letter from the FDA, it's that form of NMN that was listed that could not be sold as a supplement. However, we're still waiting for clarification if they mean simply that form of NMN or all NMN. But as of the posting of this video, um, there have been no NMN suppliers that have removed NMN, including um, all of them at Walmart, including the Amazon NMN products, including Renew by Science, and of course also Do Not Age, which is UK based. So even if there was some oversight in the US, FDA is oversight for the US, that wouldn't affect necessarily uh, Do Not Age. However, we're still watching this unfolding information and uh, I will keep you informed as I find out more. In general, I anticipate posting a lot more videos over the next few weeks because there's just been a lot of NED boosting related news lately. And I'm even involved as a moderator, simply for the discussion purposes, of a medical introduction of NED shots and infusions to Japan. And we're getting all kinds of great positive feedback from Japan and Germany about the results and efficacy from NED boosting and NED shots. Mostly this is related to medical applications. But great results. There was a paper that just came out about the efficacy of using NAD infusions for long COVID, for example, but also its effect on mitochondria. We're seeing more and more patient case studies come out where it's boosted mitochondrial activity just by applying or giving these NAD infusions. So it'd be very surprising to me, in one sense, if NMN was right now going to be um, not sold anymore as a supplement or banned, as some people put it, uh, it doesn't look like that's quite the case yet, or we're waiting for more clarification. But as of today, uh, nobody that I've seen that's selling traditional NMN would, that has been sold for years and sold by hundreds of companies, I'm not seeing the information as it was presented by Chromadex and even Brad Stanfield's channel. I'm not seeing that play out in the marketplace, at least not yet. Having said all that, I think it might be prudent if you're an NMN taker to go ahead and have a six or 12 month supply on hand. Um, if you order from Do Not Age, again, my code, the pulse, it's still valid, 10% off. Um, or wherever you're getting trustworthy NMN, it wouldn't hurt you to, to have uh, some supply on hand just in general. There can always be supply disruptions of any kind. And um, it's just not a bad idea with a new supplement like this that's shown so many results. I myself wouldn't want to be without NMN, you know, for months at a time. So I can imagine that other people that are taking it probably feel much the same way. And there's another point along these lines of this topic that was brought up in um, the article in Natural Products Insider, which did did talk about beta NMN, but then they kind of generalized it and said, well, it's NMN. Still, don't know that they're talking about all NMN or simply this beta NMN, which is um, MIB626, which is owned by this company, Metro International Biotech, uh, an investor of which is David Sinclair. So that brings us to the David Sinclair conversation. As you know, I've said that I felt he was wrong. I'm a big David Sinclair fan, so... I'm not dissing David Sinclair. I'm very grateful, and I think he should win a Nobel Prize, by the way, for his work, So certainly with Sir Tuins. So um, I have a great deal of respect, and I hope to talk to David on this channel at some point in time. So when I said I felt he was wrong, it was simply about it looks like the use of NED injections and infusions is much more widespread than he had presented in his podcast back in January of this year. 
and it looks like the results are quite impressive as well. I'm also going to be talking soon about Cambridge University teaching that NAD enters the cell and in the form of the mitochondrial membrane, and that they teach it in their textbooks. I was actually sent a textbook page about NAD plus and its relation to mitochondrial activity and how it enters the cell. So it's something I do want to share with you guys as well. Um, so there's a lot of positive discussion going on at the same time as this controversy uh, potentially about NMN supplements. It, um, it doesn't surprise me in the sense that we knew uh, that it's going to be that we're in uncharted territory, right? We knew that this is a very effective supplement and that it's going to ruffle some feathers in the medical community. And it wouldn't surprise me if pharmaceutical companies are pushing the FDA to slow this down. But, you know, again, this is the cynic in me uh, because it's treading on their territory. People are getting results with it, not just NMN, but in NAD, NR for that matter. And it's hard for me to understand with whether you believe that NR turns into NMN, as David Sinclair has stated, or NMN turns into NR, it would seem strange to ban one and not the other if they're so interrelated. So I get a lot of questions from all of this. Now, some of you may remember a supplement called NAC, which is still being sold. FDA, The FDA did come down to a conclusion about NAC, which is also known as N-acetylcysteine, I may be pronouncing that wrong, sorry, but this is a supplement used for brain health and also by some bodybuilders, and uh, it's become quite popular. They have allowed the continuation of it being sold under enforcement discretion, which is a legal path to keep selling it. Now, that could happen. There was some conjecture in the um, Natural Products Insider article story about the about NMN. Um, there was some conjecture by a former representative of the FDA who said, you know, it could very well be that NMN receives a similar uh, enforcement discretion. Again, we don't even know if it's included in this decision right now, and we're waiting for more clarification. But as of now, it doesn't appear that it has, that it, that it covers all NMN, at least from the marketplace, uh, lack of reaction to this. So I'm going to be. I'm going to stop right there. I don't want to go on too long today. Um, we're going to be posting more videos as soon as new information comes out, and keep you guys posted. So stay tuned.